What's up YouTube? It is your boy JB and we are here today with the review for The Real Housewives of New York. This is season 13, episode number 2 and the episode was titled Burning Up. Alright you guys, so without further ado, let's get into the review. Now before we actually get into that review, do me a solid favor and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, you guys, so let's start with Ebony. <clears throat> so we see Leah. Leah went over to Ebony's apartment that she got with her ex. You know, when Ebony tells her story, I really do feel bad for her because it's just like, damn, you probably gave up some of your good years with this man. <sighs> I mean, he probably, I'm not going to say he didn't love her, but they weren't on the same page. And I honestly wish that Ebony and her ex had had discussions long before she moved in. They moved, you know, he moved, well, before she moved into this apartment and he went and stayed with his kids for COVID. Now, I can't necessarily say I fault the man for wanting to be with his kids during a pandemic. I can't say I fault him for that. But what I will say is, like I said once before, I just wish that Ebony and him had had conversations about what they actually wanted because like I, I don't believe from what Ebony's saying the man didn't want any other kids I think he was happy with the kids that he had his kids are grown he's raised his kids he didn't want to start over again that is a conversation that they definitely should have had so they were together for three and a half years and you know Ebony and Leah talk about the other girls she said that she had a good time with them at Sonia's place mmm I mean, it was a good time. It was a little awkward with Sonya Sonya talking about them damn fish, but it was a good time. So then they talk about the Hamptons, and Leah's telling you know um, Ebony that she wants to have a Burning Man's dinner. Okay, I've never really heard of that, but I'm interested. Let's move on, you guys. I guess you know I'm noticing that the first two the first episode was good. This episode. It kind of dried just a little bit. It wasn't a lot to it, but let's move on. All right, you guys, next let's talk about Sonia. So Sonia is seeing her healer. It was interesting. I will say that. Um, You know, when it comes to her, I think the healing that she needs to do is to get rid of that damn townhouse. Like, that's the biggest healing she needs. Get rid of the townhouse. Now, I will say that I did put in my notes that I don't understand the whole healing thing. And it came up again, and it came up a later, a later in the episode. I mean, I'm not someone who is into crystals, so I can't really tell you, because I know people believe that crystals have healing powers. And I'm not gonna sit here and, you know, denounce that or anything like that. I just don't understand it. Like I said, when I came, when it came to um, marriage and medicine, I just don't understand crystals. So if anybody in the comments, if anybody's watching this video understands, you guys can definitely leave it in the comment section to let me know. But it's just not something that I understand. But when it comes down to Sonya, I know she's dealing with you know the Century Twenty One, you know Century Twenty One, them closing, going into bankruptcy and closing their stores. I know she's dealing with a lot, you know, COVID, and but. Honestly, like I said, I think the biggest thing for her is just going to be for her to, you know, get rid of this damn townhouse. Why are you still holding on to this townhouse? I don't, for the life of me, I don't understand it. Like, you know, she's talking about her ex-husband's gym. Girl, get rid of it. Burn it. No, don't do that. But, I mean, do something. Airbnb it. Like, if you can't sell it and you can't rent it, why not just turn it into an Airbnb? I think that would be a little bit more that would be a little easier. Just turn the place into an Airbnb. And with you being on this show and they see, oh my God, that is Sonya Morgan's townhouse. Let me, let me, um, you know, Airbnb that for the weekend or for the week, whatever. I just think that she needs to do something with that townhouse because that townhouse is coming with a lot of freaking issues. Just keeping it real with you, Sonya. The townhouse, sell it, rent it, Airbnb it, do something with it. Do something with it because it's causing you more grief 
then you should, uh, uh, yeah, do something with that damn townhouse. But with that being said, let's move on, you guys. All right, you guys, I'm going to talk about Leah real quick. So we did see a scene where the ladies were all packing. We saw Leah. She was packing, and she was telling her daughter, Kira, that she is going to be doing the Burning Man's, you know, dinner. So then we later see her as she picks up Ebony for them to head out to the Hamptons. So with this scene, we find out that Leah's grandmother is sick and, you know, I don't know. Now, Leah didn't say if her grandmother had COVID or anything like that. So I'm not going to assume that she had COVID. I'm just going to say she was just sick. There go a plane flying over my head. So her grandmother is sick. And, you know, you know, with COVID, even even if people were just sick or even women who are pregnant and giving birth, you couldn't have a lot of people in your rooms or, you know, people, most people couldn't even come to your room at all. So that's where Leah is, you know, she and she feels that her grandmother is at the tail end of life, basically. I actually really feel bad for Leah because, you know, my grandmother, when she passed away, thank God it wasn't a pandemic going on. But I just remember that, you know, she had cancer and the doctors had given us a timeline, but she rapidly, dec she declined very fast. I think my grandmother declined after one of my uncles died. The One of my uncles that we did not expect to die, my, my grandmother just literally declined after that. And, you know, because she wanted to get chemotherapy, she wanted to do all of that, but she was never able to get it done. But, you know, I definitely understand where Leah's coming from. And I, you know, my heart goes out to Leah completely. Like I'm sending positive vibes and love to Leah. Because they didn't say in the end, they didn't say in the episode how her grandmother is, but I hope her, you know, I hope all is well with her grandmother. I really do. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and, but she's also talking about how she's not feeling like herself. So she doesn't know how she's going to react to the ladies this weekend. And we saw that clip from last week's episode. It ain't going to be well. But let's move on. All right, you guys, let's talk about Ramona real quick. Mm, so we see Ramona. So Ramona is in, out in the Hamptons and she's setting up for the girls, you know, to come to the house. <laughs> It reminds me of, I remember last season when they went to Ramona's house and Leah was outside throwing the damn tiki torches. They had the vibrator and the chicken. So this see, this year, Ramona has someone helping her with that. So none of that stuff happens again. But it was hella funny last season, especially the vibrator in the chicken. How in the hell did they get a vibrator in the chicken? I still do not know. But I just noted that shit was hella funny to me. So Leah and Ebony are the first two to make it. And, you know, Ramona takes them around, you know, and shows them around. And as they're getting ready to eat. So one, the lady that's helping Ramona, I think her name is Michelle. But she called her Diana and she says, oh, I always get my help's name confused. I'm like, the help? I was with Ebony. Like, girl, that is so rude. But that is so Ramona. I'm glad it was a white woman and not a black. I, I'm really glad it was a white woman and not a black woman. Because Ramona would not have been able to live that down because they would have definitely called. Ram I'm glad it wasn't a white woman or a Hispanic woman. But, you know, when they went to Mexico, what season did they go to Mexico? When she called, she called the staff, out of, she called the staff the wrong name. What season was that they went to Mexico? Was that last season? I believe that was last season when she went, they went to Mexico and she called a staff there. What did she call them? Did she call, what did she call those people last? I believe it was last season, but she called the, the you know, them the, the wrong name and Andy checked it at the reunion. You know, ignorance can only go so far. Ignorance can only go so far. Cause Ramona always tried to say, you know, she don't know things, but girl, ignorance can only go so far. Just saying. So, um, Ramona does tell, you know, Leah and Ebony that Heather is going to be joining them this weekend as well. Now we found out that Leah does not see it for Heather. And I saw this in the blogs that I saw this, you know, when they were filming or after they filmed that Leah and Heather did not necessarily see it from one another. And 
Honestly, when Leah gave the, her explanation for not seeing it for Heather, I understood it. Like, it seems fake. Because Leah said that Heather has been in the, in the press talking mad crap about Sonya, Ramon, Sonya and, um, and the win. So if you're in the press talking about me, I'm not going to be able to sit down with you and have fun with you. If you especially if you are, like I said, if you are talking about me like a dog, I don't have any words for you. Now, we see Luann and, and Sonya as they are heading up. One really much with those two. I'm glad Luann got the room, a, a better room this season because, you know, you guys remember last season she was complaining about being on the lower level. Which, when they showed that room, it wasn't bad, but, you know, whatever. Um, so then, you know, finally, Sonya and um, Luann show up. And, yeah, this episode was actually, it really wasn't that much. Now that I look, think about it. The episode wasn't much, so this review is probably going to actually be short. So we later in the episode see the ladies as they get dressed for the Burning Man dinner. I will say for the women to be of a certain age, especially Ramona, Ramona looks damn good for a woman of her age. What Ramona's in her 60s, she looks amazing. Um, so they sit down with another healer and Ramona keeps asking them, what are they healing? Eventually the woman told her, just sit the hell down and shut up. I'm like, exactly. Like you, when it comes to, you know, I don't, again, like I said, I don't understand it, but I would be like, okay, maybe you're going to, maybe I can heal you know, try to heal myself to go mend a broken relationship, whatever. It could be whatever you want it to be. It's not something specific. Now, that part I did know is not something specific. It can be whatever you want it to be. But that's it, you guys. I can't give you any more with this episode. It was a, it was an okay episode. It wasn't bad. I, you know, I, I know I'm pretty sure next week or the week after we're going to get more and more into this mess. But that's it. You guys be sure to like this video, leave your comments in the comment section below and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell button. So you guys are aware of when I drop anything else and share this video until the next one. Guys, stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Remember, wash your hands, wear your mask and socially distance. And we will get through this one together. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for me. I will see you guys later. Bye.